Hey guys, welcome back to our live reaction for Mahotsukai no Yume episode 5. I'm Hells and joining me is Caddy. Hi. Alright, let's start in 3, 2, 1, go. So this will be about catching that cat thing, right? The, the giant blob thing in the middle of the lake, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's the guy who tortured the cat in the past. Well, or something. it did say it has to go through the past of it all, so... It's gonna be like Phoenix White, man. You gotta f go to the past to fix, fix the problem. I was thinking more like... Uh... What's that game called again? About what? The one that goes inside people's memory and then changes it. Uh, Ghost Trick? No, no, not no Ghost Trick. Actually, it's Ghost Trick, but uh, it's not the one that you're talking about. No, it is a game, so... Remember Me, I think. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty close to this. Well, there's that one, and then... What other one was there? Does Kingdom Hearts count? That sort of changes people's heart. What changes people's heart? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> okay, that one doesn't really change people's hearts, more like beat them up until they sub until they are okay with your point of view, but, you know. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts changes people's heart as much as Naruto changes people's heart. <laughs> the title, man. Well, if they die quickly, then it's not very endless now, is it? Huh. Could be because of other uh, reason, right? She'll be good enough because she's selling her body to someone who wants her anyway. Sort of, but like she sold it because she didn't want to die, right? So no, she wants to die. No, she didn't. It's just a shame that she will die. So she she think it's better to sell her life to someone who wants it. Yeah, something like that. What do you mean suffered? What do you see in that thing? Man, this sort of effect, man. Um, the hell? On there. For some reason, it wasn't very intimidating when the cat showed yeah, up, you know? They are just three cats. Not telling the truth is different from lying. Let's not go technical here. Suddenly, Are you fighting all these thorns with a tiny knife? Oh. Well? that thing again. I wonder what it means. I remember Pillamus Spear. I don't know what Morealis is. I hope there's actual meaning to it, not just some gibberish. It's like saying, saying I'm really 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 
Oh, that was gonna be my nut thumb. Oh, wait, maybe this is the thumbnail, I don't know. So what was in the necklace again? I kind of forget. That's like a tracking spell to keep track where she is and something. You wanna die, lady? Sorry, cat lady. I still don't get why it's called a king, even though it's a supposed to be a queen, I guess. If she can just touch it safely and only this happen, maybe she can just let it roam free. I assume it will have different impact to different people, so... Oh no, you died and became a ghost. Oh, okay. I am so sorry, but that hairstyle and the hair color just screams, I am the villain. Or is it just me? For me, it's the lightless eyes. Mm, that, that's that as well, I guess. It's not, it's not very lifeless either. It was lifeless, yes, no. I mean, we know that this guy end up become a cat torturer and turn into blob because he is beaten by a thousand cats. So nothing good can happen from her. Well, nothing good can happen from this wizard. Actually, is this a wizard or a sorcerer? A few years? Did it say a few years or a few days just now? Hmm. That uh, translation says a few years. Well, that's a good time. Cat, why does it have to say my shoe? Who? My shoe is the character from 
Fate stay in, uh, not oh, I Fate Grand Order, the Kohai. Oh, her English name is Matthew. Correct, and that sort of triggers everyone because of it. Hey, this one an axe. Ah, that's a meat cleaver. By the way, uh, the four of sick person, she doesn't look very pale, don't you think? She looks paler than her. <laughs> Uh, it's just because he's a big uh, something. Now, let's be fair here. If this is in China, and then the one... Actually, if this is in China, they'd probably just think he's opening a butcher, right? Think about it, they eat, like, a lot of different meat over in China, it's all... And then her wife sees it, and then she died of shock. Thingy meat. Um... Man, it's like that scene from... Evil Dead. You know, I just, uh, I just watched uh, Evil Dead? a Let's Play of the Until Dawn yesterday. I was like, eh, this reminds me of a scene from inside there. Except this Someone one has like cats? bodies of cats instead of bodies of people. Oh, okay. What is it made of? Something of cats? <laughs> it looks like it's made of blood, but can't be. It's far, far too few for just a cat's blood. Maybe there's brain juice or something? Because if it's blood, it would have coagulated already, right? Yeah, plus it's too few, too little. Anything for you, right? I don't know what's scarier, that he can say that with a straight face and with a smile. Or the fact that this entire room is like fucking creepy. Also, that that guy is also super fucking creepy. Oh crap! So the blob is not that guy, but that girl. Man, it's like Utaware Rumono again. Was there a blob in Utaware Rumono? I can't remember. Yes, the scientist. Wait, so drinking cat blood turn you into blob? I don't think it's that simple, but... Either way, it's not something you'd wanna try. <laughs> Five bucks she dies. No, she is an immortal now. An immortal blob there is. Um Yeah, I, I I get that she becomes a blob, I didn't expect it to happen like that, like instantly. Oh man, that's too fast. What it's failed? Oh man. That's all he can say? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Uh, um, 
Wait, wait, wait. Why did he continue slaughtering cats after this? If I'm him, I'll just slaughter this mage. I assume this is the time he gets killed. Because the Cat King did say they, nah, nah, nah. they combine powers to kill the. Yeah, that's a bit later, there. I guess. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, but Pim hasn't freed the other cats. Oh. 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 So Tim was the cat king of his time. Uh huh. So how did the rest of the cats get out? Uh, some magic? Well, they are not really cats, they are demon cats. Well, they're not really demon cats, they're just, you know, normal cats with nine lives. So well, they're doggy they're, cats. They're cats, they have just have nine lives, and then, like, uh, after X amount of lives, they just get smarter every time. So they can talk. Wow. Yeah, that's what they said. That's what that's what they've said since like the last episode. So. so does this mean born cats cannot talk? Also, cat life is like what twenty years? I have no idea. I assume like fifteen. Fifteen sounds long for a cat. The circle of life. So you wanna ca you wanna summon Omega Mon and cast all delete? And it rules us all. Okay, so this blob has a lot of things. So it's got you, Tim, and cats. all the cats. Man, there's one fucked up blob. It's not about deserving or not deserving, I think. It's about, you know, letting them free. So you're gonna become a tree soon. I don't think cats become trees. <laughs> What's with this cat being very eager to die? Uh, many people I know are very eager to die. Well, uh, actually, um, the blob is technically still alive, right? So. Yep, it's uh, moto. The girl is technically quotation mark still alive as a little cancer blob. Uh -huh. Wait, what's happening now? Man. 
experience of Hogwarts spends like five years to learn purifying spell. She learned it in one night. She didn't even learn it. She just goes like, "What can I do? Uh, let's imagine something." Well, I guess that's her power as a beggar. I guess because she doesn't cast the spell on her own. She just tells the spirit what to do, and then the spirit's like, "Yeah, I can do that." And didn't she say like, dandelion? This or dandelion? This what is this? Silent? Doesn't look like a dandelion. It looks like a edelweiss. Nah, it's not otherwise. Otherwise, it's completely white. I have no idea, man. It's not poppies. Yeah, it's not violet either. Yeah. Is that ten? Ten, you poor dude. Oh, wait. The mushroom. <laughs> Why did I say Tim? <laughs> the fuck? Tim is the cat. Right, right, right. Right, so yeah. Incidentally, he is also the grand magician of your. They call him Tim. So, hey, we get our first. No, no, not our first. Because we see that Scarface guy and his pupil. But we are not really sure about them being evil or not. But now we are sure that that uh, bitch, bitch witch is a villain, right? Is that a girl or a boy? <laughs> the uh, obviously evil-looking wizard guy, right? Yeah, but like, is no, it not a, obviously? Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> It looked like it could have been both, and the voice wasn't exactly the most apparent one. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? The shadow is Pilum something. Pilum Morialis. I actually tried Google translating that, it didn't work. Yay. Okay, so last time they went somewhere, uh, they didn't. they didn't do shit. Um, she say just played with the dragons and then like sent the dragon off, sort of. And then Elias just talked around on the background. We didn't even see their conversation. We didn't even hear their conversation. But this time in this cat town, they she actually does something. It was very vague, but she actually did something. So. The part I don't get is, why does she need to know the past if she just wants to send them off? Like, I don't see the link between, you know, knowing that, oh my god, Matthew tortured some cats and then make like a weird black potion thingy out of it into, how do we send them off? Oh yeah, I'll just think of dandelions. Yeah, I don't know either about that. She said dandelion for some reason, I don't know why. Like you do realize if you if you imagine the blobs as dandelions and then you have a wind to take them away, it's like spreading the corruption all the all around the fucking place, right? So What was that thing just now? Whoa Damn, is that like the spirit of the forest? She got tits. Anyway, um, I remember this one from the books. That one in the last scene you saw is... Should I spoil it? Happy. Uh, Le Fairy Queen. The what? The, the fairy, fairy Queen. Kid? Yes. Oh. I heard this on Le Fairy Kid. Ah, I said Le Fairy Queen. Okay. Why does, okay. Why does she have to show up in there? I don't get it. Whatever. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, that's two out of the three envelopes they got, right? Uh, I don't know. Yes, maybe. Yes, they got three envelopes when they got back from that priest dude. And they've... I guess this counts as two done and one to go. I doubt Chise sleeping in the middle of whatever that was counts as part of the third job. So. Anyway, that's it for this week, guys, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.